Today, we are looking at straight people being cringe. I guess I fall into this category because I am straight myself, if you didn't know, and I accept that that is cringe. Sometimes I will go to straight people anonymous, stand up amongst the crowd and say, hi, my name is Ben, I am straight, and that is cringe. No, I'm joking. There's nothing wrong with being straight or being gay. Do whatever you want. Do what makes you happy. But today we are actually looking at straight people being cringe. Just straight up how stupid they are when they can <laughs> when it comes to relationships or just overall opinions on stuff. And just how straight to the absolute ballsack their memes are. Like they suck. I'm just saying it. Like what even is this one? Toxic is the new sexy. Oh yeah, baby. 14 indicators to assess the strength of your relationship. If she scares you, she is the one. I mean, how sexy is it to be scared in your relationship? Obviously, this type of thing isn't funny, but we're gonna laugh at how stupid this is. Hey, can you guys stop forcing LGBTQ stuff onto our kids? But on the other hand, toxic relationships, let's go, baby! Micro-cheating. 34 ways your girlfriend is micro-cheating and totally getting away with it. Oh man, I, I want to know how they're getting away with this micro-cheating. Number 29, addressing a man by his name unexpectedly. Hey Doug, instead of just hey. This breeds a strangely powerful sense of intimacy. So let me get this straight, you just don't want anyone to use other people's names. Right, okay. Right, we need to find a way around this to get rid of this micro-cheating. Hello, person 1,769,000,000. I can just see it now. Someone comes up to me and goes, Hey, Ben, I'll just turn to them and say, Are you, are you trying to start an affair? <laughs> this is such an intimate moment, but you're in a relationship. These two girls in the photo were four years old and both ended up lesbian. Okay, I guess it's like a picture of two kids is the comment for reading here. They are so cute. Just wait until they start liking the same boy. Good thing the daddy won't allow boys near them. Ah, yes, that's what shotguns are for. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, if you come round to my daughter's house, I will shoot you in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> what a normal thing to do. But hey, these LGBTQ flags, they're the, <laughs> they're the real enemy. I live in England, honestly, and can someone who is American tell me if this is ever actually a thing, that the father of a daughter will shoot a boy if he comes round to the house. <laughs> like, if that's true, that's just insane. Like, what? Oh, those poor stupid boys, they have no idea what is in store for them. Yeah, maybe we'll call Grandpa over too. What, what's he gonna do? Hit me with his crutch, run after me yelling broken English? Like, what's he gonna do? For anyone asking, how do I know if this is America? I mean, come on. It's not like it's in England, is it? It's not like we're just gonna throw a tea bag at him. You know a straight dude made this. Marriage, sacrificing your individuality to watch your true love slowly evolve into a fat person who hates you. I, I don't even know what to respond to this with. Someone in the comments had a far better response than I would ever come up with. Do straight men even like women? And then just underneath, are straight men even straight? Bro, if you don't like marriage, you don't have to do it. You don't have to make these really bad memes. Others have pet cats. She has a pet sperm. Everyone, please be quiet. My pet sperm has something to say. She's just holding up a baby. <laughs> am, I, am I immature for laughing? Or, or am I just cringe? No, I think, I, think, I think the more I look at it, it's... It's actually kind of funny. I think if I was ever in a real life situation and someone said, hey, do you want to meet my pet sperm? It's seven months old. And then they held me a baby. I, I would just think, who is this nugget? And, and who got you pregnant? And why do you have a kid? Ah, yes. Most men have the desire to kill their wives. Imagine not liking your wife and then writing a book about how you would kill her if you did. And there's a comment down below this one saying, most guys would write that book if she were alive. I mean, yeah, it is so normal to fantasize about killing your wife and then writing a book. What a normal Sunday afternoon thing to do. I mean, imagine just being that partner, being like, oh, you're writing a book, what's it about? It is about me literally killing you. No messing around, there's no love interest, it is just me straight up killing you. This comment has 14,000 likes. Who saw that and was like, oh, what a... What a relatable thing. Found under a video of Nicole Conan, might have butchered the name, the cool lumberjack lesbian. And there's just a comment here saying, wouldn't want to get her angry, wives get angry easily. I'm sorry, what year am I living in? Oh, it's 2023, this year does suck, I know, but 
At least I'm not living in a humor level of the year like 2000. Ha ha ha. Wife makes sandwich. Ha ha. Funny man joke. Hi, and welcome to life. Please choose a difficulty level. Okay, so we've got the female over here, which is easy. And then the man, which is hard. Yo, I mean, we're really out here saying that one gender has it easier than the other. If you really want an easy life, be, be a woman, apparently. And if you want a hard life, well, you're just going to have to be male. Do you know what? I'm just going to say, I, I do not think it's easy if you have to deal with something like periods. I mean, just fa fair enough having to deal with those things. Not to not to diss them by any chance. I just I just think they, they suck. And I think everyone can agree they just suck. They just don't sound good at all. I mean, that straight away would just put you into any hard mode in life. Carrying a kid around for nine months. That sucks. I mean, I'll say it. You always get guys who are like, yeah, but what happens if I get hit in the balls? I can't have kids. It's like, yeah, but how, how much does that, how often does that happen, Jerry? How often do you get hit in the balls? Seriously. I don't even know anymore. Son, allow me to offer my warmest congratulations. I'm certain that you'll remember today as the happiest in your life. Thanks, Dad, but the wedding's tomorrow. I know. What a what a great joke, ladies and gentlemen. This just logically doesn't make any sense. You've been in a relationship with this person now for quite some time. If your life is really that bad, it would have been quite bad for some time. Not the day before your wedding. Like, this isn't even a joke where it's so bad it's funny. It, it's, just, it's just a bad joke. Yeah, absolutely not. When your son thinks he's slick on Snap, thinks he's in love with her, but it's actually me on my fake account, because y'all can't play a player. I mean, this is how to stop your kid from ever speaking to you ever again when he's allowed to move out. Like, this is just really weird. <laughs> Who would do this? Fake or not, this is just really weird. The last slide was completely unnecessary. Goodbye, high school. I survived and will never suffer again. Never. And then it's just high school. And then behind him is college. And then it's a job. <laughs> and then just marriage is just the, the foot which just crushes everything. I think the caption was a little bit over the top of the last slide was completely unnecessary. It's just marriage. <laughs> like, if marriage is this thing that people really don't want to do, then why are you being forced to do it? Like so many people are clearly just making bad memes about it, then <laughs> why, why do they feel like they need to do it? You don't have to do it. Found this at a shop in town. Raising my husband is exhausting. Straight up, if you wear one of these shirts, you have the fashion sense of a bin bag. Like you honestly just may as well go outside in a bin bag. Hands down, tell me, when has anyone ever seen anything written on a shirt and actually laughed? It's just not possible. It's probably one of the most unfunny things to ever exist. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a laugh out of it because it's just funny laughing at things that are dumb. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time.